Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Razorbacks are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Got them all set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Robinson fields it at the two. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. You know, Herbie, for an offensive coordinator, he's got to love this kid. Ramsey's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played with. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance to really shutting him down. Got his back, but he can't hang on. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 30. Five wide. He's to the 40. Tackle right around the 44-yard line. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. He has all day, but scrambles out. And they got it. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Second and 13. Ball on the 41-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's tackled at the 30. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. Rose incomplete, knocked away. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the thirty. I got one. I got one. Scrambling around, and he's taken down around the eighteen-yard line. That makes it first and ten. around the two-yard line. The offensive coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's his fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. Hey, check 
He scrambled. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Boy, this quarterback has great instincts, but he showed his smarts here as well, seeing that there was room to run for the touchdown instead of trying to force the pass. He makes the PAT, a nine-play, 70-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 7-0. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out out of the field for the first drive of the game. They push him out around the 31-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Hand off to the right, and he's tackled at about the 31. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Go! Go. Hey, hey. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Prater is waiting for the snap. Smith takes it to 36. They'll bring him down at the 48. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Texas A&M is up a score. He's at the 40. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. So the option play gets him big yards right there. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how sometimes this guy is able to find the hole and get through. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 33. Black five. Black five. Black five. And he is drilled at the 20. Brought down at the 13. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it first and goal. Strike to his receiver, no good. Ball inside the 10 yard line. It's second down. Touchdown, AM. Such a talented, skillful back as you saw right there. What makes him even better is that these coaches know how to use him. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Bryant has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Gilmore from the four. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. Oh, 
They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. And he's tackled after positive yardage. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. And a quick throw. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it third and 13. From their own 27 yard line. Third down. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Black five, black go. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. That makes it fourth and long. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He drops it. Tackle at the 49. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He's at the 40, and they make the stop at the 35. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Mike five. Mike five. Hey, kill, 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 kill. Black five, three. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle made right around the 24-yard line. First down. Get him for a loss. We're through one quarter. So the Aggies lead it by two touchdowns. back for more action here in quarter number two. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. It's third down, 14 to go. Ball on the 28. They'll line up with five wide receivers. down immediately. Goss picks up six yards with that grab. That makes it fourth and eight. Under pressure, he lets it fly. Caught by the sophomore. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. So they go to the air on fourth down when they needed a big play, and boy, do they come through. And he converts the extra point. It's Texas A&M gets set to kick this one away. From the seven. 
He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Caught, open field, knocked out of bounds at the 37. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires to the wideout, first down. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. They just inch past the marker. Yeah, it looked like he got it just by the nose of the football. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Here's the give. Brought down in the open field. Makes it out to about the 40. First and 10. Ball on the 40. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And he might want it all here and does. Touchdown, Arkansas. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. Tacks on the extra point. It was a six-play, 71-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calls on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Arkansas lines up for the kickoff. He'll return it from the three. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's going to try and scramble. He's to the 40. Tackle around the 47-yard line. That's a game of 22. First down. Larry, Larry. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's leveled at the 33. I got two. I got two. He's tackled at about the 25-yard line. Davis makes the tackle at the 25-yard line. That makes it second and two. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's scrambling. That's a great tackle at the 20-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Ball comes in 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. So the Aggies saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Over the middle to his tailback, and he stopped behind the line. It's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Play call as they fail on fourth down. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From their own 32-yard line, it's first down. Black five, black five. Catches it, and that's all. The Razorbacks are going to call their second timeout. Could score. He's pushed out of bounds at the 14. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. The field goal unit's out on the field. And they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. He gets it up, and he's got it. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. North Carolina State and Clemson in the Textile Bowl. There's no love being lost between these two today. The Wolfpack lead 10-0. Our score, 21-10. We've played a half. Texas A&M leads it 21-10. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're gonna to wanna to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they gotta to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick, you know, be able to strip the ball out, Get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All 
All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Brought down at the 28-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And down he goes at the 31. From their own 31-yard line, second down. He's taken down at about the 29-yard line. here on third down. They have a lot of faith in him as a receiver. Right there, he showed you why. From midfield, first down. to the running back. Brought down at about the 49. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Four down, four down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Moves up in the pocket, and down he goes. Prater awaits the snap. And he muffed it. He was definitely peeking to see what kind of space he had to run. And that loss of focus is what cost him. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Stop it. Quick throw, and they make the stop around the 25 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. First down. Roger, Roger. Mike five, Mike five. Come on. Kill, kill, kill. Green nine. Check 13. Nine. And he is drilled at the 40. James makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. First down. I got him, I got him. My five, my five. Great job. Fires it out. They'll bring him down around the 30-yard line. Number 14. 
14 with the tackle at the 30-yard line. Right here, right here. That right makes it first and 10. ten. From the 27 yard line, second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a team six on the play. That'll make it third and one. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike 34, Mike 34. Hey, check, check. Hey, kill, kill, kill. kill. Quick strike, and he drops it. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The kick is up, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Texas A&M's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. Their last drive resulted in a punt. So let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Got it. And he goes down quickly. That's a deep seven on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Right he makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line. First down. That's three down and one to go. Texas A&M's lead is two touchdowns. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Raise it up. Tackle for a loss. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 34. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. About a four yard gain there on the quarterback draw. Midfield fires to his receiver first down and they finally knock him out at the 18 yard line. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. On the reception, look out, nobody there. Touchdown, Razorbacks. And 
and he converts the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Top 25 action on the way. The Cornhuskers hammer that running game and score a touchdown. Mosley Zarm is capable of dominating a game, and so far, he's been doing just that, having thrown for more than 200 yards. In another game, a real battle going down in Boise. And for Stanford, they're having all kinds of trouble so far. The Broncos have the edge, 21-17. The one touchdown ball game race, 24 to 17 here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And he makes it out to about the 17 yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Texas A&M up seven points. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. And it's caught. Tackle at the 33-yard line. Makes his way to about the 48. Gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. Here we go, D. Get off the field. Easy. Two. Easy. Where? Go. Go. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled at the 48. Gain of four. That makes it second and six. And they got him for a loss. Scrambling around. He's at the 40. And he hits him hard at the 36. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. field and down he goes at about the 27 yard line nice pickup as they connect on the pass play but well, they look to be in sync right now they're both reading the defense properly and the result is a nice game it's second down now and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker they'll spread the field here let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook and he's hit before he can go anywhere so the defense has had enough of the no huddle as they call a timeout we're at play number nine of this current drive Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. They'll give it off here. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. The defense puts an end to the no-huddle offense by calling timeout. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Five wide. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. This is the 11th play of the current drive. Positive yardage. 
game set on the play. That makes it first and goal. This is the 12th play of this drive. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Orange three. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. It's second and goal. Ball on the 11-yard line. My five, my five, my five. Green nine, green nine. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. We had a fight to the finish here today. 24-17, Aggie. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? You wouldn't figure either team would pull away, and it'd go right down to the very end. This was a really exciting matchup. Texas A&M was not going to win this game easily, and they knew that. They had to scrap and should be proud to come out on top. Both teams should be proud of their effort. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.